What is going on guys? I'm bringing you another San Andreas video from the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition. Now, I am significantly further than I was last time I did a video on this. Um, I think I'm in San Fierro or something like that. And I could tell you, this game, it, it does have some glitches and stuff, some funny things in it, but... The game is very, very, very good. It's from a from a fun factor and enjoyability perspective. Yeah, the game has its problems, but I will tell you, I'm enjoying this game way more than I thought I would. This game has turned out to be a pretty good product, a very good product, I might say. As we obviously got to make sure we keep the music turned off. As I'm getting ready to take him to a store to buy him some, upgrade his clothes or whatnot. But I did not get this far originally years, years ago when I played San Andreas. I got close to this, but not quite here. I'm going to release some other videos of some of the missions I did or some of the cinemas, cinemas because I'm... You know, I did the cinema with the Grand Theft Auto 3 character. Uh, I'm going to put that out, too. That's going to be, you know... I, I kept hearing about that, but I never actually done it. Now i finally done it. But anyway, yeah, this game, as well as the other two, are very enjoyable. I just played this one a lot more than the other ones. And I got... I'm stuck in Vice City on a mission that... I'm having trouble with I don't know if it's a glitch but when I feel like I finished the mission it says mission failed for some reason like I'm not doing the mission correctly even though when I do the mission identically like that on the old version it says that I completed the mission so I, I don't really know but anyway I'll get you know that's a different conversation so as you can see I'm at the store you know shopping because I haven't changed my clothes in quite some time, but this game has been very, very, uh, very enjoyable. I like it way more than I thought I would. I thought I would kind of like it a little bit. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal, but I went on and got the game. I wasn't even sure if I was even going to get it. I was on the fence. I was like, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if there's a point. I don't always mess with remasters and stuff like that. I usually like to deal with like new games, but this game here, I'm definitely enjoying these games way more than I thought I would. So, and the missions seem a lot easier. And I think it's a combination of the controls as well as some of the concepts are different in the game. I think, I think they've changed. They've simplified some of the games. I think they did that on purpose. Simplified some of the missions. Because I think they just want to make the game more enjoyable, more playable. Because some of the difficulty factors, I think, were based on kind of like bugs and glitches. And there's still a few. You know, the controls still have some issues. Like, sometimes when I'm shooting, my guy will do a melee instead because you use the same button in melee. He'll, he'll swing the gun as if he's trying to hit someone with it rather than shoot it. Because if you press it and not hold it, that's basically what he does. As I'm just kind of splurging right now, I'll probably go to the barber and do something with his hair, give him some hair. Obviously, you don't go to the barber shop to get hair, you know. But that's how this game works, and we're going to do that. As I'm just randomly purchasing crap, you know, like I said, just splurging away. I just want a different look because I've been playing with that outfit, just kind of trying to get through some of the missions. But, yeah, you know, this game has been very much far more enjoyable than I thought. The missions, I'm just kind of going by them. There's some missions... I wouldn't say I get stuck on the missions, but I, you know, it takes time to get through it because I keep messing up on some of them. Because the animations are pretty much the same, you know, like the old game, but the controls and the, it's definitely smoother. But 
the weird looking shooting mechanics and stuff are pretty much the same and I'm gonna do some more missions pretty soon but I kinda stopped doing some missions we're probably gonna go to the gym buff ourselves up a little bit work out try to get our guy in a little bit better shape I'm not gonna say he's been letting himself go but he hasn't really been working out that much what is that what is Misty's I don't even know what that is I don't remember let's go see what that is that's not a mission, it's like a store, right? What exactly is this? Oh, you can play video games, play pool, or, you know, table tennis or something. That's what that is. Okay, I do remember this from the old games. Could probably get drunk or something, right? Did he say taste my wrath, villain? Wow. Anyway, that doesn't show up on the map as anything. That's why I was... Now, I remember it now. But anyway, some of, the, some of the missions and some of the cinemas look very good. Some of them not so much. You know, some of the characters look weird. With, for some reason, this game has weird necks and stuff. It's, it's some, some parts of the game, the necks and stuff look weird for whatever reason. Let me see what this gym looks like. On the inside cobra okay I can learn some pretty cool moves here I would imagine let's see what kind of moves I can learn he's gonna teach me some moves I'm just gonna beat the snot out of him perhaps He wasn't blocking any of that stuff. Nothing clever here. Just kick them while they're down. Okay. Right. Become the avalanche and bury your opponent. No offense. Oh, you you Ooh, look at that. Wow, that's a pretty cool kick right there. Look at that. He knows how to fight. Look at that. Anyway, none of this stuff is new. I, this stuff was all in the old versions of the game. You know, I'm not going to lift weights right now. I'll do that later. But, you know, I could fight grounded opponents. I can tell you, I don't believe there's anything like this in Grand Theft Auto V, where you upgrade your fighting ability and do, like, cool fighting. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I, I don't recall seeing anything like that in there. I, I, I didn't finish the game or nothing, but, you know, like I said, I don't think that that's in there. As you can see, there's a different gang over here. But, yeah, that's my take on this game. I'm going to release a couple of little short videos, little cinemas, you know, put them on the channel. And just kind of show you some of the stuff that's going on. Right now I'm just going to drive around. Just so we can kind of absorb the look of it. As you can see there's some weird tint to the lighting right now. I don't know what's going on. But I know a lot of Grand Theft Auto 3 looks like that. It kind of like bothers my eyes a little bit. The graphics look good. But good enough I'll say. Now I will tell you the PlayStation 5 version and the PlayStation 4 version. Those are two different versions. That's something I did not realize. I thought it was just one version that you could play on both, but cuz when I got when I purchased this, they both downloaded on my PS5 and I did play the PlayStation 4 version, and I can tell you I do not know any difference. I cannot tell. I barely played it because I had no reason to because I have this version. And when you have a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 4 version, you have very little reason to even bother with the PS4 version. But if you only have a PlayStation 4 and not a PlayStation 5, I can tell you, I really, really am being sincere when I say this. I don't believe you're missing anything. If you're missing anything, it's barely anything worth talking about. As you can see, that bridge just kind of appeared before my eyes there, our eyes. And, you know, let's take a look at the water here. I want to take a look at the texture of it. See if it's really anything worth bragging about. 
Let's take a look here. I'd say it looks good enough. You know, obviously with this releasing on a PS5, like I said, it's definitive. It's not re it's not a remake, so it's not gonna look like some of the other games. But it definitely looks good. That water definitely looks good. You know, should I dive in it? I think I should. You know, why not? Let's go underwater. See what that looks like. And he's running out of breath. I need to go back up. As you can see, his breath was running out. His breath runs out quick. You can earn more. You can earn that to be stronger. I want to see some fish or whatever. I see something under there. Let's go see what that is. Wow, his swimming animation looks good right here. I mean, that's the same one. That ain't nothing new. Let's go back under the water, see if we can't see some fish or something. I don't see any fish over here. I don't know if there's any... There's some fish. I don't know if there's any scuba diving equipment in this game. I haven't... I don't remember ever seeing any. I do remember the old version. You can get stung by jellyfish. So I'm going to get away from those. Now they want to make it start raining. Let's go back under the water. Take a look here. You can see a little bit of stuff. This stuff looks pretty good. I mean, you know, obviously it ain't crap. I need to get back up to this top. I don't know why he's moving so slow to get to the top. Now he's going to die. All right, let's not do that again. For some reason, I was struggling. Let's get back to the, uh, I think it's raining, right? Go back to the, the yeah, the water looks good. You know, it, it's enjoyable. Um, it, it's, 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 the quality is definitely there. Maybe I should go into the water in the PS4 version, because I, I, I'm being honest, I really don't think you're missing nothing. I don't think, you know, you should be like, oh, you know, I can't wait to get the PS5 version. I don't I really don't believe there's much of any difference. If there's any difference, I personally believe it is very slight. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I really don't see much of anything. I don't know why he can't swim fast. But Yeah, he's struggling with his stamina apparently. It doesn't show his stamina on the on the uh his stamina gauge, it only shows his breath gauge, so you know, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And you know, obviously these rocks and stuff, the textures are not super great, you know, it's obviously this wasn't going to look like GTA 5 and we already knew that, but it definitely looks you know, I, like I said, I'm enjoying the game way more than I thought I would. All three versions, you know, all three definitive editions. Hopefully my car is still on the bridge. But anyway, yeah, that's my take on this. I do like the visuals. I will tell you some areas look very good as others don't look that good. Some of the cinemas look better than the others. Some of the characters, for some reason, sometimes you see weird looking necks and weird looking arms at certain points, which is fine, you know. I kind of expected that. Because when I play the old version of this, I did, you know, the old version of San Andreas, which I'll probably drop a couple more videos on that too. Just to kind of, I don't think my car is still there. That's very unfortunate. I need to work on my stamina because my guy gets winded pretty quick. As you can see, got to go to the gym and get on that bicycle. Should I be rude and snatch a vehicle from somebody? I probably should do that. That's probably the right thing to do. What is in the street here? A piece of a vehicle. 
as you can see I'm gaining a little bit of muscle there but yeah anyway that's going to conclude this video I'm not going to go too lengthy you know I need to save my progress since I shopped and upgraded my attire a little bit but anyway I think this game is definitely worth buying $59.99 for all three is a good buy I still think that they should have offered you $20 for one of them if you wanted to go that route but it looks like they're not offering you that right now I'm thinking they will eventually in the future as you can see there's a lot of pedestrians out here on the beach let's take a look at them not sure why there's so many people over here this is not even really the beach this is just just a bunch of people out here for no reason is what it looks like but anyway yeah I'm gonna drop some more videos my other videos are gonna be like cinemas of you know some of the missions I did maybe even some of the missions itself I'm gonna go ahead and put on here